Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. Uh, celebrating a little bit today. Um, just listening to the Permanent Midnight CD, which is uh, my band from the 90s. We finally got a album release. It just took, you know, 15, 16 years to get it, but here you go. There it is. And you can get this at my friend Mike's uh, record label, uh, paragonrecords.org or themetalunderground.com. And yeah, five bucks, free shipping. So, can't beat that. I mean, it's shit, but it, you know, it's cheap shit. So there you go. Give it a go. Uh, but today, we're not here for that. No, we're here for beer. That's what we're here for. This is a box of homebrew crap. This, and I just got some more grains, and I'm aging a bunch of different liquors on oak. So I got about enough to make 20, 15 or 20 gallons of home brews. So that's cool. Today, we're going to do something, and I don't know what. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. There we go. Why not? Unfortunately, some people think it's okay, and it's not, to put your stickers when you buy something on the label of the beer <laughs> that you buy. And that's, that's just not cool. So, let me just take my little time. I didn't notice it was on here, but I want to give this a proper review. So, I'm going to try to get some of this off. So if you ever buy ale, please make sure if you want to keep the, if you're a bottle collector, that you tell them not to put it on the label. But this is Figley's Brewery in Allentown, Pennsylvania, formerly Allentown Brew Works. And this is their Bagpipers Scotch Ale. Comes in at 8.5 alcohol by volume. It's a big one pint, 9.4 fluid ounce. Um, so that's pretty cool. Yep. Brewed by Allentown Brew Works, Hamilton Street, Allentown, and I think that's pretty close to the Crock Rock, so that's pretty cool. This is Court. So this is, you know, there could be some pressure here, we don't know. Uh, as Terry always says from Beer Goggles Reviews, it looks pretty dinky, but it can hold down a lot of pressure. So what we do, is we take and we turn, we turn, we turn, there it is, smoky smoky, excellent, I uh, basically was going to review a different ale and decided to do this one, so excuse the bottle. Try to take it a little delicate with the pour. There we go. And it's going to be mildly bottle condition, and it is mildly bottle condition. Nice, rich, deep, roast, dark, almost double box style of a color. Really dark. Mild carbonation going on. Spicy head, real spicy head. Probably a little colder than it should be, so you might not get a lot. Cheers. Extremely dry. Not a lot of overbearing car uh, sweetness from the malt. You do get some hints of um, some peatness it tastes, some rye almost, some, some, some of that, that tart rye. You get a stream bready and a drying sensation. They do get a nice sweetness on the aroma, but it's not an overbearingly sweet ale. It's extremely clean on the finish. Extremely clean. Wow. This almost reminds 
me of uh, the uh, Vorsteiner Dunkel with the soda in it because the amount of carbonation it has in it but it's extremely easy to drink very Douglas Lager quality but it has those other qualities it's that tartness of uh, almost rye a slight bit of something peaty in the taste uh, but it's not overbearing it's not overbearingly sweet it's not overbearingly tart it's not overbearingly anything yeah. Really well done. Slightly sophisticated, really. You never know it was eight point was it eight point four, eight point five? You're drinking the, the quality of the mouthfeel, the carbonation, is you're drinking a dark lager. But then you have these other tones that make it that scotch ale kind of tones to it. Really up front in your face, nothing's lingering, no real bitterness, uh, not a lot of malt presence at all with overbearing sweetness or anything. It's pretty interesting, it's easy to drink. For sure. I'm gonna get it all in with the bottle conditioning and everything. Let's see what it looks like with the head. It's gonna crown, it's probably gonna make a little bit of a mess, who knows. I'm just gonna let that sit there for now. But I'm gonna give this one the Bagpiper Scotch Ale. I'm gonna give this one an eight. I'm gonna give this one an eight because it's just it's missing a little bit of this, it's missing a little bit of that. There's a little bit more liveliness to the to the actual flavors that you get out of it. And not just the mouthfeel, not just the carbonation, but a little bit more bitterness or a little bit more tartness or more rye or more smoke, a little bit more maltiness, and it would have really kicked up the experience. But this has been Paul from PA Brew News. Listening to some permanent midnight. There you go. And uh, cheers.